Alrighty, so we are on Gon's account today. If you have not seen the Gon's like 18 mil box showcase for Fitoria, that should already be up on the channel, so feel free to go check that out if, if, you, if you haven't already. But uh, we're going to try Glass today. Um, I'm going to use the exact same team that I used in my 1-6 no paid showcase just because I want to try to compare and contrast. And uh, I do think that going first, using CC food and everything on Gon's account with the extra stats and stuff, if you don't know, he does have 18 mil box CC. He also has con, like he's in con stuff. Constellation 7, uh, so he has the Constellation of Pride done, as you can see by his title. So he has quite a bit of extra stats that I don't have on my own account, which means that the you know it's it's a little bit biased. Like <laughs> you know the performance is going to be uh, weighted more towards this. Plus we're playing in geared PvP. I have not actually seen which gear set he's using on Glass yet. Uh, it looks like HP Defense, which is completely understandable. That's what I did for mine as well. Um, so. I'm, I have to start with I'm not a big fan of this team uh, just because it, it, it focuses all of the DPS onto Glass and because she's a double single target character, um, it can be a little bit tough for her to stay alive and actually be able to win the whole match so do be aware of that if you're new to the channel or anything feel free to subscribe if you have any team suggestions feel free to let me know but uh, we're gonna hop into this thing see what we can get into I'm gonna go with the typical turn one try to kill off the Gelda right here turn one if I can I don't think we're gonna have any issues with that um, Glass does a very good job of killing a character turn one. She has a ton of potential in that regard. But, like I said, keeping her alive for turn two, and I'm not a big fan of this, like, Soul Steel card or whatever it's called. Yeah, Soul Steel. Um, not a huge fan of this one. So, we do get a level two, which is nice. The idea here that I was told on stream is that you want to use her Pierce card as the third card turn one. And then you want to use the Soul Steel card as the second card turn two. Uh, that way you have a couple of her stacks built up and you can actually get use out of the passive. So we're going to do that here as well. Arthur in the back is a very interesting choice. Um, I think we go for this. I'm going to assume that's going to kill. That might end up getting me screwed here. Uh, but we're going to get... Demon King below damage cap here. He's at 50% or less, so I think this is more than enough to kill, yeah? 470. This is geared PvP, so I, I need to take that into consideration. And then we're able to kill him off before the stat pop. So, at this point, I don't think Arthur's going to be able to do much. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Okay, so, I mean, the reason I'm running Freyr, if you're unaware, is because he actually increases single target damage. And he's a stat buffer with his Holy Relic for the Unknown team. So, he's he's got a lot of good synergy with Glass, I think, because she's a double single target. Um, but, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, we have another Gelda team. I did say in the last video with the Fitoria showcase that uh, if you are interested in seeing the uh, the other characters like Nalfami and Philo and Raftali and stuff on this account, feel free to let me know. I don't really plan to mess with those characters on Gon's account because I figured I would just showcase them on my own. Uh, but I, I do know some people really like the, the 18 mil box showcases. Um, some other people don't really care for them as much. That's completely understandable. So if you are interested, let me know. If not, I'll just, you know, do it on my own account. That's completely fine. Which, I mean, I guess we could technically do it on both. But I, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Golan is very, uh, very kind with letting me use his account, you know, pretty much whenever I would like to. So uh, I'm not going to say that I have, you know, guaranteed access or anything. But, you know, if he's not busy and he lets me use the account, we could do a couple of extra showcases if you guys are interested. So, um, we don't have a whole lot of damage on the DK here, so that is going to be a bit unfortunate. Uh, we do have a lot of Berserk potential right now. Uh, hmm. I don't know how it's going to work with this, because she puts on a Soul Steel stack for every card used, I think. Every card that deals damage, I think. And then she takes one away when she uses a card. So, do kill Melly there with a level 1. That is actually really nice. Goes for Nanashi. Not quite enough to kill on the Nanashi, but he did have his own buffs. So now we have to deal with Demon King. Um... We have one stack on at the moment, so I should technically be able to... Am I going to live this? I don't... Uh, he's dead. We do have Nanashi in the back. Depending on card merges, maybe? Oh, no. 
Oh my god. Hello? Uh, I'm gonna assume, because he's an unknown character, so this should put one stack on, and then the stacks actually apply before you attack. So this should get her to max stacks again, and then the Pierce card might go crazy here. Shoo, okay, 300k basically. That is actually pretty impressive, I've gotta say. Ah, I mean, realistically, he 100% should have killed Glass with, uh, with DK. Really no reason not to, in my opinion. But, hey, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Once DK loses his damage cap, he doesn't have, like, the craziest HP. So, I mean, you definitely have a decent chance to, to one-shot him if your character is strong enough. So, okay, I, uh, I'm actually kinda, kinda digging that. That was actually pretty good. I'm, I'm gonna try to remember to forfeit some of these games so that way I can get back to champ one instead of going to challenger, but I will probably forget. All right, we have another Gelda. Tons of Geldas, surprisingly. I was expecting to see more unknowns and stuff, but uh, hey, I guess uh, I guess that's cool. Um, I mean, there's really not any reason to do anything other than the, like the normal turn one play. We do have a level two Soul Steel card, I guess, which is nice for turn two. Uh, okay, we're not doing as much damage here. I don't think he has Tarmia Link on her, so this should be a pretty easy kill. Maxed out passive, boom bam. Okay. Um We're gonna I guess we're gonna see the damage on the melee with this card, and then I'll probably forfeit it yeah, just in case. Uh so that way we can try to stay in champ one here. So there's the infect. We haven't done any damage really to or well I think we did use the, the weak point skill, but uh surprisingly he does lifesteal his HP back pretty efficiently, so Okay, this is going to give him a stack. Ooh, he actually lived that. Um, this should actually do a lot of damage since he's really low HP. And then the uh, the Soul Steel card should be able to kill Meli off. Problem is DK is going to pop his passive here, so he does have potential to come back and win. But uh, that's basically all I wanted to see from this match anyway. So we're going to forfeit there. I don't know if this was a real player or not. It was not. But that's fine. I'm going to try to go into the next one and remember to forfeit this one as well. Alrighty. Okay, we have like an older Sins team. Or, I, I say older, but I mean, it's just a <laughs> Green Deanne. I don't see Green Deanne really at all. So, kind of interested to see how this goes. Um, Tarmiel Link was on Deanne, of course. We do have type advantage. I'm interested to see if we can maybe kill Melee off turn one. He does have True Awakening on his Melee. That looks like enough damage to hopefully kill here, though. So we do this. He's already below half HP. Max out our passive. Snipe. 318 on a crit is pretty good. I do like... Like, I like the idea behind this team. I think that just if you have two DPS characters, like, I mean, you could you could say that, you know, Tyr is a DPS character, of course, but he's... Uh, I think that there's other, other options that would maybe try to take precedent, maybe, because... Although, like, the bots hate tier, um, I feel like I have a hard time, you know, if they're gonna, if they're gonna just outright kill Glass, uh, the, the odds of me winning against some of these, like, modern teams is, is a lot worse, so, I 100% think that if you have, like, a better, better DPS character instead, um, to kind of take some of the heat off of Glass, it could be better. We're gonna do this, maybe? He didn't put a stance on, so that's, I guess, good for me. I could have potentially went for a stance cancel, but... Hmm, okay. 204, not the greatest. The second one does kill. 207, about the same amount of damage. Um, I am going to forfeit, so that way we stay in champ 1, just in case, because I don't, I don't think this was a real player. Definitely not. But uh, we're gonna do a couple more matches, and I, I think it's, I think it's more likely for us to find real players in champ 1 than in challenger. All right, we have, uh, like, an older DK team. Okay. I do like Esterosa, don't get me wrong, but uh, having him on the field, not the craziest uh, idea. Or, well, I mean, I don't know. It's okay. It's not a bad idea, but I think we can go for the snipe on Melly. The problem is, is, like, she's so single target focused, and this team is so single target focused, that I think if we put... 
maybe like Hell or somebody with a little bit more AoE potential, which you're going to lose the single target increase. You're going to lose the basic stats from Tears Relic, uh, or Freyer's Relic, sorry. Um, but if you put somebody else here with like a good AoE, I think you have a little bit more potential to like take care of DKs and stuff. Because the, the issue here is that because I'm all single target, um, the odds of me killing off like melee turn one and then being able to kill DK off before he pops his passive is a little bit less likely. Um, like we do have good damage, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's definitely not uh, the ideal scenario, I don't think. So we now have to deal with a Melascula, which is a bit unfortunate. I'm going to just try to kill everybody but DK here because he's got the link on and everything. Ooh, Melascula... It's pretty hard for her to hold up nowadays, I gotta be honest. We don't have the Pierce increase anymore. Actually, I think we still do have it. Snipe? Ooh, 400k. Actually, qu quite nice. I mean, Estorus is a bit older compared to some of these other characters, but... I mean, hey, the, the green type advantage does kind of go hard, so I like that. Okay, level 2 on tier. Ooh, actually survives that. Kind of insane. Um, I'm gonna merge these... Use one card that I know isn't going to kill, and then try to go with a big, big single target here. This actually... I don't know if that was the best play or not. I think I was supposed to use the the level 2 before the other card, actually. Because the, the when I did it like that, it got rid of all of my soul steals. And that card does more damage per soul steal, so I actually screwed that up. So a bit unfortunate. But I do get to see the ultimate now, so that's something. This, I think, maxes out my soul steals. Uh, yeah, at 6-6, six, six, you do get three soul steal stacks. So that is uh, that is going to help a bit. I don't imagine he would be able to tank this regardless, though. Okay. A bit disappointed. Okay. Okay. I think... I'm not 100% sure because it all plays out on the same turn. I would assume that the way that that worked was it gave me three soul steals. It immediately takes all three of them off and gives me the pierce rate increase and stuff from the passive. And then when I go to use the soul steal card, it puts one stack on and then removes it because of the, the way that her passive works to use that card. I'm not 100% sure on that, but, I mean, it did some pretty good damage, the single target card did. The ultimate, I'm a little let down on, but I guess it is what it is. That's, uh, I don't know, she, she's, she's definitely not Fitoria. It's really hard to compare because they're so different, but, um, she's, I think she's gonna fall into the category where she's just a little too specific with the way you need to use her cards, um... And I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna stop her from being like really crazy good. But I mean, don't get me wrong. You you go first with this character, you can basically one shot whoever you want. Um, it just depends. I think, I think that there's like more experimenting need, needing to be done with like the team you want to use her on. Like I, I definitely don't think this is the ideal team, even though it does synergize kind of well with her kit. Because you do get the crit resistance lower from tier, which is nice. You get the stats and the, uh, the single target damage from Freyr's Relic, which is nice. But her being the lone DPS is what I hate the most. So, ooh, okay. Level 3 here could go crazy. Um, so we can just throw this uh, Freyr card out, gain one stack, throw the level 3 out. Pretty much no problem. He should have two stacks of his passive here. Might actually attack with Melee last here and gain a third stack from having the seeds on him. Okay, he does. Doesn't kill, which is good for me. So he now has three stacks. He's in, like, the best tanking position here. And I still think we're going to be able to do enough damage, hopefully, to kill. Um, I guess we throw this out. Because we, we, we might as well try to take advantage of some of the Berserk from the, the tier passive here. Okay, 500k. And that's with three stacks. So that's a bunch of defense related that he has. So that's pretty good. And then he has damage cap still. Uh, and I think that's hitting damage cap, of course. So, nice. At this point, no DPS for him to come back with. And I think we're basically chilling. I'm going to use the... Oh, that's a delete card, actually, so never mind. Uh, I was going to say I'll, I'll use the uh, the ultimate here, but 
Not quite. Um, I'll actually pop the passive again here. That actually might snipe pretty hard. Let's see that. So this pops the passive. Crit chance increase, pierce rate increase. 645. Nana, she's incredibly old, and he didn't have his buffs on. So, you know, that's a little bit weighted. But overall, not bad. Uh, let's do, like, one more. All right, we have a Sins team. Ooh, really good CC. Okay. Uh, we get a level 2 Soul Steel card, which is kind of nice. I think we kill Gother here. We have type Disadvantage, but killing Gother, get, getting rid of the rank up and stuff, actually should be quite nice. So we'll get some extra damage out here. Melly's gonna, like, because we have Tier on the team, he's always gonna have debuffs to cleanse anyway. So getting rid of Gother, stopping the rank up should help a little bit. He'll gain two stacks here. Uh, Bon has taken a little bit of damage. The problem is, ooh, okay, he's running an ult rush comp actually, with green Merlin in the back. Dude, he had he had four twenty four k CC or was it three twenty four? Was I mistaken there? He had, I think he had really high CC, and that was with green Merlin in the back. Uh, actually, kind of insane. I don't know if that's gonna kill her or not, but. We should be able to kill Melee with these. No problem. I'm hoping this kills the Merlin. Ah, that is unfortunate. Two stacks. Level two, Soul Steel. Yikes. Okay. I mean, we do kill with the second one. I was hoping that would one shot. I think that's really where it comes down to. Like, if you. If you're gonna use this character, like, I'm expecting, like, big, big hits, big damage, one shot characters and everything, because. If she's not doing that, and she's the lone DPS, she's not really going to be worth using by herself. So I definitely think that is going to solidify like needing to run a second DPS with her. Um, final thoughts are, I think that she's fantastic. I really, really like the character, don't get me wrong. She's definitely going to be the one that is overshadowed really hard because Fitoria is so good. I think a lot of people are just going to overlook this character. She's a little bit more specific, of course, which does make it kind of niche. Um, I think a lot of people are going to have a hard time getting great use out of the character. So I think that she's going to unfortunately kind of like fall behind as far as like popularity goes with this new collab. But I still think that she's really cool. I like the idea behind her. I, I know a lot of people really wanted her to have at least one AoE. Uh, but to be honest, I like the double single target. It's just... You know, it, it has its pros and cons for sure. So, a little bit specific. Um, I don't know. I, I definitely want to find a better team. If you have an interesting team that you're using her on or getting good results with, feel free to let me know. I definitely want to try it out. I think that uh, I think that we could find a better team to sort of accentuate her, her usability a little bit. So, um, either way, that is pretty much it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Shout out to Golan for letting me use his account, of course. Like I said in the beginning, if you have any team suggestions or if you want to see me uh, showcase the older uh, collab characters on Golan's account, feel free to let me know. Leave them down in the comments or anything. But uh, that is it for me. So thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.